Good afternoon everyone. My name is Marie Louise Catherine Serbas, but people used to call me Kate. I am a graduate of BS Psychology at the University of San Agustin and presently I am working as an advocate officer of Ulikid Parents Organization Incorporated. I have a condition called cerebral palsy, but despite my disability, my family was able to give me a better life in terms of providing me with my needs and including me into the society and were able to send me to a regular school and become a mainstream student from nursery until college. Because of my condition, I am a wheelchair user since I was eight years old and at, until present. Despite the challenges of my condition, my family had heard all of the difficulties that comes along my disability. Despite my disability, my family were able to send me to a regular school from nursery until college. Being in the mainstream, I was able to see the realms of what reality is all about. I saw the challenges that having a disability is really yet mainstream has taught me to become a stronger person despite the challenges that having a disability i am able to understand and accept the challenges that the society may bring with regards to being different from uh, everyone else. I became persevering and goal-oriented in order to achieve my goal and become a productive citizen in the society. Kuleo Les Iasesus had become my second home. CHJ is a community that has accepted me all throughout my stay. From nursery up to high school. Together with my family, E.S. Jesus has molded me to become the better version of myself despite being a cerebral palsy person. The values that Mother Foundress had inculcated her he who's and he has made me led to the community where I am right now. Those values had made me fall in love to the people around and made me realize that serving is the most fulfilling experience in a lifetime. I am truly grateful for the opportunity that Coleo de la Cies de Jesus and the Mother Foundress had given me. As Mother Foundress once said, when there is no room for the poor, neither there is no room for me. I can relate that to myself because I know that if there is no room for other persons with disability in this community, there is neither room for me. Thus, I am advocating strongly for the equality and equity of persons with disability like me to be educated and to be included in the community. I sincerely believe that it is my purpose in life.